So day three, today we're in Chicago. I just got to the Brookfield Zoo. I was a little bit worried because it is a free day and that could, I mean, it's good for me because I don't have to pay because Brookfield's a little more expensive, but free days usually attract more people, but the parking lot was literally empty. Like it's emptier than Toledo yesterday, so I'm super excited. And just like Toledo, you have to cross the road to get to the zoo, but this time it's a tunnel. a little worried about how I would get from the parking lot to the zoo because there's no crosswalk. A tunnel. So far the zoo looks awesome. I just sat on their giant gorilla for a picture because I thought it'd be fun. Giant gorilla was wet because it rained. So my butt is soaked. This is gorgeous. And the zoo just feels so spacious. Like I haven't seen a single animal yet because I don't know where I'm going. I just keep jumping around for photo ops. Could you imagine having your office over there looking into a dolphin pool? How cool would that be? Good plan. Update. I have no idea where I'm going. None. Zero. Zilch. So far, pretty much all of the buildings I have found have been closed to the public. I have been walking for like 25 minutes and have not seen a single animal. I do not like the layout of this zoo. So I told me the swamp entrance was back that way and now they're saying the swamp is this way, which I already came from this direction. So I'm gonna try again. Do you think anyone will notice if I literally step over the fence? I'm walk all the way over there. We're gonna do it. Huh, okay. So this is Tropic World, South America, Asia. This way to South America. Tunnel, bridge. Let's go bridge. Oh my god.
This is amazing. First animal sighting. We've got some primates in here. There's one there. We've got some squirrel monkeys. Oh my god, there's a baby. Do you see it? It's on its back. Oh my god. This is really neat. I found the sloth. I wish I brought my photography camera because there's like good backdrops for these photos. So cute. Oh, he's looking at me. Hi, buddy. Oh, there it is, poor monkey. Very cool. This is amazing. Oh, look. The baby ring up there. Percy. The waxy tree frog. I want one. Aliens are so freaky. Well, I found a reptile building completely on accident. That's not where I thought it would be. I thought I was heading towards penguins, but this works too. Oh, it stinks. Yep. 
Oh my god, I love ground pigeons. They're so cool looking. So majestic. I don't think I've ever seen a vapor gecko at a zoo. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, it's so tiny. I've never seen one in person. So little. This is a huge setup for a groom. Right there. Are you showing off? These are dwarf seahorses. I didn't know they came in dwarf size, and now I need them. I love seahorses so much. Look how cute they are. Yep, smells like penguin. They're a lot smaller than I thought they were. Maybe it's a baby. I don't know where I'm going, but it says that there's reptiles inside. I guess we'll go check it out. Hidden gems of the forest. Yeah, so there's more reptiles. I love it, there's reptiles everywhere. It's very warm in here. Dwarf crocodile. Oh, see over there. So I'm kind of upset. I was really excited to come here because they have a pangolin. Not many just have pangolins, so I was super excited. The sign for pangolin was on an empty exhibit. So I don't think I get to see a pangolin today, and I'm kind of upset about it. Okay, we're headed into Chicago. We are 10 minutes away from Lincoln Park. All right, so it is 1.30. I just got to Lincoln Park Zoo. Um, yeah, I don't know how long I'll be here for. If it doesn't take me that long to walk around, we're gonna hit the Nature Museum next door. Uh, Colin from Crosstown Exotics suggested it because they have a lot of reptiles. So. See how long I'm here for, and then play it by ear. Here we go. Here's my favorite. 
Hey, little buddy. You're my favorite. If I have to deal with one more person or child banging on the glass of an exhibit, I'm going to lose my mind. All right, reptile house, here we go. No way, they have Jamaican iguanas. Oh, there he is. He looks so cool. All right, we just made it with an hour to spare. Let's check out this nature museum. Oh yeah, that spot, he's cute. Ooh, what is this? Bring your rat paint. Oh 
our baby's landing turtles. That's pretty good. Iced chai, chai tea latte from Panera's. It's good. I really wanted to try the mac and cheese grilled cheese, but they were all out. Now how you're out of that, but still have mac and cheese and all the other sandwiches, I don't know. But I at least got mac and cheese. Again, but it's Panera's mac and cheese, so it's the best mac and cheese. So before we end today's video, I do have something to unbox, a little review of you will. So my feet are killing me. It is like 5.30, um, so I got a lot done today. <laughs> we started with Brookfield and then went to Lincoln Park and then ran down the street to the Nature Museum and then went and picked this up. So I've had a really busy day. I'm exhausted. And then I just sat in 45 minutes of Chicago traffic to get back out here to the hotel. I am toast. I am eating my mac and cheese and laying in bed I'm gonna try to convince myself to edit this video. So, you know, the zoos are cool. Brookfield was really nice, a lot of walking. I was disappointed that both zoos, a lot of things were off exhibit, a lot of buildings were closed. So I feel like I didn't really, there's a lot that I didn't get to see, which is annoying. And what's really annoying is the whole reason I really wanted to go to Brookfield was to see the pangolin. And the pangolin was not on exhibit. So yeah, so that was disappointing. Um, but yeah, I feel like I had a good workout in today. I definitely earned my mac and cheese and I got a chocolate filled croissant too because I earned it. But this, this is the, my order from One Hour Teas. I wanna give a big shout out to One Hour Teas for coming in clutch and like saving my butt this weekend. So texted my Tinley group chat, you know, with Neptune the Chameleon, JJ's Reptiles, Melissa's Lizard, and I said, you know, what are you guys wearing? When I was packing my clothes for leaving, what are you guys wearing? So I am I going to go like leggings and t-shirt? Am I trying to try to look cute? Like, what's the vibe? They said they're wearing their logo shirts, like their shirts for like their YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. And I was already planning on bringing a Herpetology shirt, but I didn't want to bring my ZA Reptiles shirt because it's pretty form-fitted and I got that a couple of years ago. Now I'm more in like the baggy shirt phase where I really like my shirts loose and baggy and I don't have a baggy Zay Reptiles shirt. So I was thinking, okay, because it was like Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, I was thinking if I can find a place in Chicago that can print me a shirt, then I have a whole week for them to do it and then I can pick it up. And there's a couple different places that I found. And of course, you know, the sooner you need it, the higher the price. One hour tease told me they could have it done for Friday for $15. Today's Thursday. I got a message yesterday that it was done and could be picked up. So not only did they have it done by Tinley, but they had it done early. So while I was running around Chicago today, I could pick it up so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow because we now have VIP passes for Tinley. So after Shed Aquarium tomorrow, we're going right over to Tinley. So I'm on the thing I have to worry about now, but I want to open it up, see the quality because you know it is a, a quick print shirt. I got it very quickly. So we're gonna see what it looks like, make sure that I can wear it to Tinley. And I love 
looks like a box. Like it's literally a shirt and they put in like a pizza box. I love it. This already looks good. So the one I have is from Teespring. Okay. So that's what I'm comparing it to. It's Teespring quality. Oh yeah. That is so awesome. Oh my god. That is such good quality. And I was worried about blowing it up because the file itself is not like very high resolution. Because when I made it, I guess I didn't make the file very large. So I was a little worried about printing. But this is amazing. Like honestly, I think I'm not gonna lie, the quality is better than Teespring. So let me show you guys. There it is. It's just a simple white t-shirt, but like that quality is amazing. Like it's not fuzzy or blurry at all. It's very sharp. The colors are bright. Oh my God. <laughs> this is awesome. So big shout out to One Hour Tees in Chicago for saving my butt this weekend. Having a shirt ready for me to wear. You guys are lifesavers. Thank you so much. Oh my god. So if you're in the Chicago area and you ever need like a shirt quickly printed and like of good quality, hit them up. And with that being said, I'm gonna eat dinner and I will see you guys tomorrow for shed and VIP access to Tinley Park.